Sabbath, an event put on by Shane Bugby. Uh, it's a uh, sa satanic event. There's going to be a black mass. I mean, uh, some of you who don't understand Satanism, maybe it's a Shane Bugby. Uh, it's a uh, sa satanic event. There's going to be a black mass. I mean, uh, some of you who don't.
Hello. Okay. I'm going to try to have Lucy Vaughn on here real quick. Let's see. Lucy Vaughn. Boom. I I'm got here. It. And let's see. Claudia. Claudia, you're not showing your face? Oh, there you are. You just don't have a lot of light on you. How are you? How is everyone that we're, you're tuned in? <laughs> How you doing, Lucy? Hi, That's Shane. Cool. You know this is live Hi, right everybody. Now. You, we're live right now. Yeah. Okay. You look, hey. You look great. Lu hey, Thank you. Hey, uh, Claudia, how you doing? Claudia, you okay? Hello. Is it not working? Claudia has decided to hang up. Oh no. All right, come on, Claudia. One. Don't do this to me. Hello, um, Claudia. How are you? It's not letting me talk. I don't. You're talking weird. now, and I hear you. <laughs> you want to know what's irritating is looking at this with these lights. These lights really irritating me. Are they all on your face? Yeah, but I don't like headphones or nothing. You know, I don't I don't usually like any of this stuff. Let's see what I look better. Look at that. <laughs> I'm in the background. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't like, uh, I usually don't like he headphones. But there's, okay, there's some people watching. Okay. How many people do we have? Six people? Let's lie, let's lie about this, please. 66 people. 66 people. 666. There we go. Oh, oof. There we go. It's a big face. How are you? Hey, Claudia, so what's going on? You got any witch facts for him? Uh, Claudia, you motherfucker. That's it. You're out. I got to do I got to do something else. Okay. Boy, this is not being nice to me. Lucy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You are now. All right, Claudia, don't call back. You're irritating me. Next time, let's do that. I should really get my hair cut this way, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think it would look good, like if you cut it like that. I got no, you know. I know people calling about witches, but trust me, my hair is going to be used in the in the, in the, in the ritual at the. Uh, we're done, Claudia. I can't do this. Okay. Um, my hair is going to be used in the ritual. Trust that. We're going to cut it off, and I don't know, but yeah. Are we going to burn it? We're done, Claudia. I don't know how to stop people from calling, so if I give out that link, it'd be real irritating to me if I gave it out to the general public. Um, later, Claudia, please. <clears throat> um, am I going to burn it? You ever, hair smells bad when you burn it. It's like the worst smell in the world, don't you think? <laughs> I know. I realized that after I said that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm at the age where it's a, it's, it's a ponytail age. I always wonder, like, when I was younger, like, these guys, why do they keep the ponytail? Okay, how do I stop this? Oh, it's Sharon. Okay. okay. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to I'm gonna be irritated by every single thing because that's also my age. I'm motherfucking irritated. Oh, there you are, Sharon. How are you? Hi. It's always great to see I'm you. Okay. I'm okay. Hi, Sharon. One, I'm the only one with these blaring Hi. lights. Hi. Let me turn these lights. How are you? Hi, I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I can't see you, but I know you're there. I can hear your voice. <laughs> you really can't see, huh? No, it's only it shows my screen and you. That's weird. Well, yeah, you look great, strange. Sharon. You, you you don't have the lights on you like I do. It's a, it kills me. These lights kill me. I was just talking about my ponytail. I'm at ponytail age. I know this is not a lot about witchcraft. <laughs> If I if I cut my hair, it's gonna be it's. Listen, that was like who's the uh, who's the guy who cut his hair in Roman times or something like Adonis? Is that what it cut his hair and he had no more strength? Samson. Oh, that was uh, Samson. Sam was Samson, yeah. Samson, Adonis. I'm I'm Adonis though. <laughs> I know. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, that's how I feel. Like I've I had my hair was down to my ass when I was a young man. All I mean it was down and, and had you know now I got this. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking at myself like it's a fucking mirror. Anyway, okay. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, All I, I, I need right lights now. on me, but um, we're still working things out. I guess we're not. <laughs> we'll get this one day. 
Well, yeah, it's it's live. This is what this is the excitement of live. What if I fa- I could fall over dead any time? You never know. It was old. It was old uh, a wit- don't do that, Shane. Yeah. I don't. What would we do without you, Shane? Probably what would we do without you? I, I don't know. Probably a lot. But but uh, you'd be on the other side, still like prodding us, like, hey, get it I'm done. Gonna t- yeah, I'm gonna tell you. There's a spirit world. Some live, motherfuckers. This, I'm gonna this, be choking out. Live. What if I fly? Exactly, Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Shame from the other side. Yeah, there it is. If there's a spirit world, I'm going to get my revenge from beyond the grave. That's my plan. I'll choke some. I think that was confirmation. Like, that's you from the other side and another reality. Like, zone in right now. You believe in spirits, Lucy? Yeah. How about you? And Sharon? alternate realities, all that. I do. Okay. I don't, I don't, I have no, you know, I have no idea about spirit, the spirit world. Of course, I don't think any of us, well, you, you, maybe you guys do know. I, I grew up uh, spending my summers at a funeral home and it was weird because you'd see things move, you know, and the old, the, the great, great grandma said, you're a seer, she said, because I'd see things, but I don't know if it was the air conditioning, you know, just blowing something. <laughs> I'm a skeptic yeah. of what I'm saying, but I'm up for it. I know that like I was dead for a little bit and like I was somewhere else. And then I remember getting sucked back in my body and like, it was just so heavy and like heavy here in this reality, but I wanted to be back on the other side where it was like light, like where I felt free. And they got sucked back here and I was like, God, why are we back here? You ever die, Sharon? Uh, yes, I have. There you go. <laughs> my heart was stopped for five minutes at one point in 2011 when I, I had, um, I was on life support for 40 days. See, I have this scar right here on my neck. I never knew. Yeah, I I told you. I told you. You But you probably blocked. You probably blocked it out because it's traumatic. No, I remember. Yeah, it is. It is. It it is. It's hard to hear that stuff, especially you know, in in certain situations. It definitely is hard to hear. Um, Did you have? I'm a survivor. I'm happy to be alive. I um. I feel blessed for every breath I take, every sip of water I take, because I had to go through rehabilitation where I had to go through speech therapy, physical therapy to walk again. I was only 90 pounds when I got out of the hospital and Stanton actually nursed me back to health. Oh, yeah. Did it, change, did, it, did it change like how you looked at life after that? Definitely, yes. Did you believe? Do you believe in a spirit world because of that? No, no. Uh, I wouldn't say I had like a near death experience. Like I didn't see the light or like see any relatives or things like that. But I had a very strange experience when I was in the hospital. It wasn't good. Maybe we'll do another live or a show. <laughs> an interview on that someday you know i i i'm okay with having a spirit thing happen if i can a get my revenge from beyond the grave and b if my <laughs> nipples and, and everything works the senses i you know, smell <laughs> the taste the nipples if all that works the nipples yeah, well, it I'm, doesn't what's work what's up with guy what's okay Shane, what's up with guys and nipples well are they circumcised <laughs> are they circumcised men because oh, I'll tell you, as a person who's circumcised, uh, my nipples feel better than my dick, lo- you know, because it has. They have, I have oh all God! The, well, I have all the I have all the nerve endings there. They've all been chopped off. On you know, eighty percent of them get chopped off when you get circumcised. So it's like uh, essentially like a clitorectomy, and that's now that's that to try to take the magic. I, it's it, tied into witchcraft. I stop everyone listening, watching. Just stop right there. They all <laughs> left. They all- well, we're, though they're more. There are more. Okay. There's more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they like the nipple talk. All right. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would imagine. I wonder if there's a, a correlation with circumcision, uncircumcision, uncircumcised, and and love of the nipples. But anyway, as long as my nipples work in the afterlife, I'm gonna be good. I don't think they, they will. The, ha- the Why? The haunting of the nipple. The haunting of the nipple. Why do you say that, Sharon? Why do you say that, Sharon? Because they, from what I've studied, it's, uh, you, you have a certain amount of time where your spirit can roam the earth after death, but 
any of your vices, like if you reach out for like a sexual vice or if you, you can see a bottle of whiskey on the counter, but you can't drink it. And yeah, you, you can't feel your nipples. Your nipples are part of your flesh and your flesh is no longer I've seen part of you. And, and I've seen Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters leave slime. So if, if I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm dropping, if I'm dropping trails, I'm hoping it's coming from some, some joy. That's all, I'm well, you can possess a body. You can find like a vulnerable human and possess them, and then you can enjoy their nipples. Oh, so that means I can <laughs> I can enjoy the play. I could be a woman at some point. I could be trans, but not. I'd be spirit world. They I'm won't saying. be your nipples. Your nipples oh, will be goodness. like embalmed or like cremated. My goodness, I would try everyone's body. I'd be like, I, I, how that might deter me from getting revenge. I'd be like, too much having too many fun. I'm just gonna possess people. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm looking forward. That'd be to this wild. If, if if there's a spirit world, I'm. What's wild about it? What's wild about it? That'd be a wild experience. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my my fantasy of being dead. <laughs> not dead, a spirit. I don't. I, I'm not looking. Yeah. Your spirit. Yeah, I don't want to be dead. I don't want to be dead. Well, I'll always know it's you, like. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely make. I'm gonna definitely do something where people will know Shane's visiting me. I'm not really sure what it is though. That's they'll be the funny. smell. They'll be the smell of garlic bread. Oh my goodness! What's that whiff of garlic? Oh, my favorite. My favorite. My favorite. My favorite. Garlic and nipples. Garlic and nipples. That's fun, right there. Garlic and nipples. Who doesn't love that? Don't don't don't. Let me see. There's people in the chat room. Sharon looks great. That's what it says. Thank Game you. Game. That's so nice Aww. of you. <laughs> I'm in the dark. I didn't mean to be in the dark again, but it happened. Jason <laughs> Thomas says, hey, Lucy. Hey, Shane. Well, you don't say hi. Hey. To Shane. Jason, what's up, dude? Hi, Jason. You got Hi, Jason. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so which is Sabbath? You got you got any? any I just heard it. The a topic of the day. Yeah, let me hear something. Well, I guess uh, right. We're gonna we're gonna be having. Um, oh, that's so cool. Oh, you want to know something? You want to know where this is from? All you guys yeah. want to do is, is uh, to look, search Club Satan, The Witch's Sabbath. It's a film I made, and one of the best scenes you're gonna see. You're gonna see Paris get get this put on her, but but she has to work for it. <laughs> Club Satan. Yeah, the the witch's Sabbath. This is, you know, I've been, yeah, Club Satan. Yeah. Sabbath, and it's like it's a it's a film. For for people mm -hmm. who are older, you could say adult film, but it's just a, a film. film with nipples. That's what I thought, right? The adult. Yes, you damn right. There was, <laughs> you know, there's there's ten full minutes of a scene with her and Satan. And it's uh, I don't, I can't even talk because I'm afraid to get thrown off. I want to look now. this up. Yeah. Well, we sold it as 10 full minutes of ass eating. Okay, I hope I don't get thrown off the stream, but anyway. It's a good movie. Well, I was we, we just got we just got more viewers as you said that. That's right. Here, I'll tell you. So that that film, so we're filming it and we're doing all these behind the scenes and this guy's like, "Hey, Shane, you know, I you you having this scene, you know, it's all analingus, okay?" And it's like he's like, "But I could I need a blow. he needs to have an orgasm." I don't want to be too crude in front of the with in front of the audience here. Oh God! So 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 he's like, I gotta have this. Oh God! I can't believe I'm telling this story. And so there's a busted Jesus, his head in the corner of this porn set that we build. And I'm like, but you gotta have your your nut on the Jesus's face. And he's like, he's dressed. Oh my as Satan. God! No. He's, oh, yeah, he's wow. got full, no. He's got full makeup as Satan. He's got the horns. He looks over at me. And goes, Shane, you've gone too far. And that was a good moment for me. Like I have this guy. He looks like Satan. He's a real big guy, bodybuilder. He says I've gone too far. But never the guy who was filming behind the scenes didn't get that's that. That's funny. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's we found someone stuff. to do it. We found someone to do it. And in and, and uh, AVN Porn Awards, they were like it was the most uh they, they created a new the most extreme thing they ever saw, or whatever. It was, that's sort of silly, but wait, it was in the AVN Awards? Oh yeah. Oh now, now yeah. I definitely gotta check this out. Oh yeah, and then everyone in, and it was like outrageous because I'm like it working in porn and there were people like, I can't work on that set. And you were like were you like the satanic Ron Jeremy? Well, not Ron's. Ron's 
built like you know like that. No, I was not like the. But yeah, I guess I am pretty hairy. But no, I wasn't. I was a director. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was the high end. I was director. That was a wild set. It was. Oh, I'll tell you another story from there. How about this? You're gonna love it. We're losing everyone. Everyone's leaving. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it was an ultimate fighting guy. He comes in to get his girlfriend. She's on set. And she calls. I'm really freaked out by this set. So he comes in, he's like, where is she? Uh, and and I have on the bath my Anton gave me. Okay, I'm wearing that mm-hmm. in the scene. And he looks at it, looks at me, looks at it, looks at me. And he goes and grabs her and leaves. And they're like, holy, everyone got behind me. And all these guys are like martial artists. They all have fight. They're bigger people. And they all come behind me. They're hiding, all these guys hiding behind me. And then they're like, oh, dude, that guy's broke three guys' necks in that last two weeks. Like he gets on porn sets and just breaks people's arms and their necks and you know, he was going crazy on meth or whatever. Yeah, but I didn't get beaten up because I had that bath I made from Anton. I'm going to tell you, it's the truth. That's right, wild. Well, what do you want? You, you stop me from talking. Say something. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> um, so I know we're going to be doing uh, the hashtag giveaway, right? Whoever posts uh, post the Witches Sabbath post, hashtag Witches Sabbath gathering. What are we giving giveaway? away? The goodies, your goodies, back there behind you. Where is it? <laughs> what are you laughing for? Does that look like a grandpa looking around for something? <laughs> How about this? The one, the Carla sign. That's going to be one of the I love that. Grand That's so prizes. rad. Isn't that, Shane? Yes. I, I, so I'm asking, what are we giving away for this one? I believe they're behind you right there on that little, on the... On the in front of the picture. Oh, one of these? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I would give one of these away. Whoever does so whoever reposts like reposts on Facebook or Instagram, the witches have a gathering and hashtags that enters for a chance to win one of these. You don't even know how great these are. They're very heavy. Look how thick that is. It's, it's I think it's great. <laughs> you could hurt somebody with that. Yeah, that's why I said it had to be heavy. I was like, yeah, yeah, you definitely could. Imagine if it's all cute. Out. It's all cute and satanic, and then you just like, yeah, knock someone out. And then I believe Shane that you were talking about having donations to your cash app <laughs> to earn a goodie yeah, bag thing. Oh, you know, or I, you, I'll give Support you free the access. Cause. To, I'll give you free access to my OnlyFans. Do OnlyFans later. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I would love. Where's my envelope? Oh, I don't even know. I'll tell you though. You you do a donation to you do a donation to us in any which way, and I'll send you an envelope full of things like this. Like you'll get you'll get more than one of these. I'll give you two of them. I'll give you a pink one and an orange one. I'll give you you said I'll give you an envelope full of stuff. And when I say, I know stuff, you have like all those cool stickers. Yeah, the, the stickers. Cool back patch. There's, there's rock bands that have this, and there's like this is like in five different music videos. You know, by who knows if they're famous? They seem to be famous. They're signed bands. I don't even know what that means anymore. <laughs> Everybody signed. Everybody just goes and creates their own music nowadays, like on social media, right? Yes. Everybody's famous nowadays. So you're reading off the list. What's going on? Um, we're, do we have any callers to bring online? No, please, no callers. That was a no callers right now. <laughs> I came right into the garlic. That and was nipples. on the agenda. Love it. Good to see you all. So someone loves the garlic and nipples. I love it too, Laura. I, I, mean, like, I think that. Oh, I know you're from Denver. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Claudia makes fun OnlyFans where you just ramble about the best Patty Smith songs. Nice, Claudia. I just Damn. Ran. Maybe Crowley did say I'm perplexed upon death. Or does Perple- anybody in the chat room have questions for us? I'm reading some now. Uh, maybe Crowley did say I'm perplexed upon death, though most things point to him not doing this in repentance because of learning what he, he's able to do in the spirit world. Um, no, no questions. But they should ask questions. Oh, sh- Sharon's in that Send in your chair. questions right now. This is the point of the show. We're going to do questions and answers. Yeah. Well, it is. It's This is the point of the show. I've got a question for you, Lucy. 
What are you looking what? forward to for the Witch's Sabbath? Me? I'm looking forward to... I love to... that. That's, that's the... a great satanic answer. What are you looking forward to on the Witch's Sabbath? Me? <laughs> me? Yeah, me. I'm looking forward to uh, the bloodbath ritual. Yeah, me too. And I'm looking forward to your ritual. And then the, the ritual me and Sharon are doing with... And then I believe it's Amanda. Amanda's going to be in it too. So look at Winter Amanda. She's going to be in there too. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be right And back. then seeing... Seeing who all who are next as uh, Miss Satanic Witches, that's gonna be a lot of fun too. I believe we have Dark Mark coming in and Nicole Six to host that to help be the judges on that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And we have a lot of cool bands that are gonna come on. Um, I don't know if anyone can see this, but this is some of the fabric I'm gonna probably use for the robe. So you're gonna get a oh, that's really cool. And I, this is all I know. I don't even know if one, anyone understands what screen printing is but this is all hand screen printed wow that's really pretty nice yeah that, that might be the might be the fabric so it looks like really good quality like really heavy quality stuff oh yeah very I'm, nice if i make something it's gonna be really the best yeah that's why i'm always amazed by your stuff because it's always really nice like quality really good quality oh yeah i don't yeah well, it's quality over quantity with people that are friends of Anton LaVey, right? Mm -hmm. All friends of Anton LaVey here, probably. That's nice. Nice little scarf. I so like do we have any questions in there, Shane? Any questions? Let's give it a few minutes okay, to see if anybody... One. Okay, who is the biggest witch in the world right now and why? Mm. That's a good question. In the world, the whole world. That's going to take me three days to process that one. The biggest oh. witch. That's a good one. Elon Musk. <laughs> but he would probably call himself a warlock, right? I, but I don't think that. I think he's, I like Elon Musk's name. I love that picture that's floating around online where he has like the Baphomet sigil, on, like Baphomet head on him, and he's just like, rawr. That's listen the coolest to, thing ever. Listen to this. I'm getting hammered by these a handful of people asking me a question on Twitter because Elon Musk retweeted something. And they, they say of mine, and they're like, now he's talking about might is right. Like, might is right. And I published that book for 20 years. No one else was. And he's like, he said something about, he's like, now the world's changed. The weak is weak is right instead of might is right. And I was like, holy shit. So, Dang. He knows that. yeah, he knows that ties into Satanism and stuff. And he wore that, yeah. that Halloween costume, like he said. What is the best car? What? what is the best type of coffee? Sumatra, dark roast. Dark roast always is the best. Mm-hmm. Dark roast. Espresso. Sharon's addicted to espresso, right, Sharon? <laughs> yes, it's the elixir of life. <laughs> the darker, the better. I love it. So who's the biggest witch in the world, you think, Sharon? I'm thinking about that one. Me too. I kept want to say, for some reason, Cardi B, for whatever reason. I don't know why. Was she I, a witch? I think it's she that dance. lady. I don't think she's a witch. Who's that oh, lady yeah. that is the artist that Lady Gaga and like they they go to her parties and oh. they do like oh uh, she Abra passed Abra away Abra um, Abra Abramovich 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 yes I love her she's passed away though hasn't she no no she's still alive yeah that's what happens you get old you're automatically dead but she looks she looks fantastic though have you seen her she's like seventy something and she looks like she's like. 30 something. You ever see that thing she did where she's like, she puts all these things on the table and lets people do whatever they want. And they're like, yes. Oh yeah. That's tough. They point a gun at they it. Like stab her. And like, she's done some really cool things. Or she has that one setup where she did with like the meat and the, like the composing animal bodies to like represent war. Right. Yeah. yeah that's a, well, Sharon is being very literal. I, 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 I think she's right. That's a, a real witch. She's a real, real deal witch she talks about that spirit cooking blood everything oh, <laughs> wasn't there a rumor going around that like the presidents and celebrities were all um stabbing their left middle finger as part of a ritual like she created yeah but that's all I, that's not even that's all true all these rich people are freaks like people are always shocked by it because everyone has these mundane existence but but rich people are bored they're they're pricking their fingers and, and praying to satan in the fucking bohemian grove that's no joke but people think it's a joke or some paranoia stuff. It is not. 
it's very i think it's like very erotic you know like the pain and torture stuff and the <laughs> they gotta take it a level higher you know i love it Let's blood it we're gonna be having that though at which just have it that's gonna be great the blood yeah. and gore maybe and we'll do body. middle finger stabbing too and totally. you sign your name on a piece of paper blood that'd be fun lucy's off the hook off the rails <laughs> <laughs> off the hook, off the rails. Yeah, please put in the comments what the, the phrase is of today so I could say it right. Who is, yeah, we, I'm not going to talk. More that, questions? Not, you know, not that I'm going to ask. Um, cannibal cooking. No, no questions. You got a chance. No at, questions? No questions. I'm still stewing on who's the biggest witch. Abramovich is, I would say, for certain as real, but I was thinking fantasy, like, who's the biggest witch? <laughs> like, who's really doing so? Like, I, I want to uh, say someone, like, is moving the world, like, moving things, like, politically or even in art, but Abramovich is is the biggest, probably. That's that's a fact, huh? Like, the biggest publicly known. Well, yeah, I guess I'm just thinking, you know, like someone put Hillary on here, Hillary Clinton. I think they're trying to say that's like, for me, that's like a slag. On Undercover. Her. Well, that's like a slag on which is she's, she's a normie, but she's, but I don't think she is. I think she's on, I know she's on Epstein's plane. <laughs> well, yeah, was, weren't they being accused of baby murders and like all this crazy stuff? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They killed a bunch of their friends, all that kind of great stuff. I do. I have a book yeah. called A Year at the Wheel. Or it's on archive.org. And I met this guy in Arkansas. And, and this is when I, you know, he sounded paranoid about it. But throughout the years, you learn rich people do this kind of stuff. And he's like, I was a bodyguard at a sex party and the Clintons were there. And Bill was banging some young guy. And I was like, I walked in the room because there were screams. Some of it sounded outrageous. But this guy, he had some stories that I, I looked and they were true. Like, like looked into some of his stuff. So I think it, it, at least if, if half of his bullshit was true, it's scary stuff. It's good. And not scary, but exciting or interesting, I should say. What's no that? comment. No comment. Um, so do you want to go over the, we, I know we have a VIP package coming up for the Witches Sabbath. That's right. It's, it's going to be that's available. That's right. Yeah, it's gonna but, 166, 166, and it's available on BafflementX.com. Right. And I believe it, it involve includes um entrance to like rehearsal the day before the concert, yeah. and then the day of the concert. Yeah, go. You and can then all the details. Yeah. Yeah, and then entrance to the uh, the question and answer afterwards on the next yeah. day. The so is, it ends up kind of being like a three day event. Yeah, where well, we get to VIP true. package. All of that stuff is cool. To, so you hear what you're getting, but what you get is access to Sharon and I and Lucy. Bob yeah, and talk to you a lot. We spend was, time with you. And when there's 200 or 300 people at an event, it's hard to spend one minute with the person. Like you got basically hello and goodbye. So you'll get you'll you'll be able to hang out with us. And I think that's the bigger, bigger thing. You know, that, I was getting to that point. No, <laughs> I'll just let you. You want to just be done? No, go ahead, Shane. Go ahead. I don't. I, um, hey, I'm getting tired already. I, you know, like Sharon. Are you really? Hey, Shane, sit down. It's like, sit down, Grampy. You're right. I got to sit down. All right, and then I know one thing too is we're having the the Miss Satanic Witch pageant, which we haven't really talked too much about much about but um we're gonna she, whoever comes and wins the miss satanic witch pageant will get a crown a sash and a mystery prize and i know we have dark mark was going to be one of the judges nicole six and then we have a third mystery judge at this point yes. so yeah that's yeah, a lot famous, of fun. very famous Come. mystery judge let me tell you that famous mystery judge sells places at 10 stadiums out ten thousand seaters so i'll just let you guess the famous satanic Los Angeles person that's going to be there doing the mystery judge. Cause you're going to have to guess. Cause if we tell you, we can't, it'll be too much for you. Be too I much blew their us. minds out. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, so let's see. So I wanted to go in a little bit on the history of like the, the Walper Walpurgis night, like how it got started with the German and the European culture. 
Sharon, knows right? All of Sharon. Them. Sharon is obviously the historian. She's picking the right, right witch, the big witch. I, I'm the, picking. I'm picking case. the witch. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> you, 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 you told us who the biggest witch is, and I can't even argue with it. I'm like, yeah, I get that's that's. Well, actually somebody a just said Taylor Swift, and that's pretty. That's a good answer. Oh, I think. Yeah, I guess she, um, you know, she, she is. She's doing something, right? Well, isn't she rumored to be like, uh, isn't there a rumor about her and uh, Zena? There's, it's not, it's all true. It's not even a rumor. People is it? Say. It's, it's true? Yeah. What was know. it, though, that she, that some, like, she's like the daughter of Zena somehow? They're saying that she's a clone. Yeah, that's, that's what But that's what I'm saying. Clone. It's true. You know, it's true. It they look exactly be. like. Look at the pictures. They it's do true. look a lot alike. It's true. So Sharon, tell us the history of wall purges, if you got anything. I mean, well, um, we know that it's a German holiday, right? And um, us Satanists kind of took the holiday over when Stan, uh, when Anton, so he almost called him Stanton, um, <laughs> founded the Church of Satan. So that was in 1966 on Walpurgis Knot when he shaved his head and he declared that it was Anno Satanus, year one. So we, in a way, took over the holiday and um, we celebrate it as the anniversary of the founding of the Church of Satan. So this year's year 58. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know it's also like the day of celebrating like summer coming in, right? It goes into celebrating, May Day. Like, summer coming in. Yeah, May Day. So, yeah. And then For I wanted the us to Festivals and the waiting of the spring. <laughs> And then where witches go out and do bonfire and rendezvous with the devil and raise <laughs> Satan. That's my favorite part, Kay. <laughs> um, so, and then Sharon, do you have your satanic Bible with you? I have a few. <laughs> I, I would love it for you to read the first page. Because I, I know right there that, that that has specifics on like the importance of Walpurgis night for a Satanist. I think it's the um, very first page. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm not even sure who wrote this, but it says from that. Okay. It's at the bottom part of the page. From that time early in his life, his path was clear. Finally, on the last night of April, 1966, Walpurgis Knot the most important festival of the believers in witchcraft. LeVay shaved his head in the tradition of ancient executioners and announced the formation of the Church of Satan. He had seen the need for a church that would recapture man's body and his carnal desires as objects of celebration. Since worship of fleshly things produced pleasure, he said, there would be a temple of glorious indulgence. So that's what we're going to do in LA on April 30th. A temple of glorious indulgence. Love Isn't it. Isn't that great stuff? What do you, what do Yum. you, Sharon, what do you consider an indulgence? Well, we are, we're not dead yet, right, Shane? So we have to enjoy this time on earth in our bodies and our, fleshly existence. So we will have to indulge in all the pleasures of, of earth, of being in this body. So we, we're going to drink. We're going <laughs> to, we're, what are we going to do, Lucy? We're going to drink. We're, dance we're going well, to I'm, dance. Huh? You're going to dance. Gonna dance. Gonna dance. dance. <laughs> we're going to get have naked. a lot of fun. Definitely gonna get oh yeah naked. We're right. getting naked. <laughs> Stabbing our fingers in well. blood, signing our life away in blood. You know what an indulgence our is, souls. You know an indulgence is to me for when I was younger versus today. And totally, you know, and Claudia in the chat room will get this. 
an indulgence to me now is a nap, like a nice nap, and warm <laughs> feet. My feet, as long as they're warm, I'm I'm like this is nice. So those are very nice things, very soft things. Smells of lilac. Those are indulgences to me. Can I somebody comment and um pronounce Walpurgis not the correct way? Can someone like call with a really thick Val German Pergisnacht. accent? And <laughs> and say it for us the correct way. Well, we, I talk like a valley girl, so I just I I've always just said Walpurgis not. I'm not speaking in a German accent, but that's just how we that's how that's the easy way to say it. But was it Val Pergeschot with the va? Yeah, well, you would know Lucy Vaughn. You're you're German. Val Pergeschot. Yeah. I say it in a Californian accent. <laughs> yeah, so, what do you Chicago, think? How, like, German, how do you guys what? practice your witchcraft today? Your witchiness. You know, all my rituals usually revolve around. Uh, I find that cutting tomatoes, whether I'm making salt, I, I don't know why, but it's like always around <laughs> the cutting board, playing with a knife and cutting. I uh, usually tomatoes, and I know I'm, I get in deep thought. And whenever I'm like, I'm going to make salsa or, or spaghetti sauce or something like that. Just, <laughs> and I start cutting it, and, but I'm using the knife, cutting, cutting the tomato. And so that's no lie. That's where I, I get some of the deepest concentration. And I got to pay attention not to cut my fingers off, you know? So it's like, mm. you know, there's something going on there. Almost like the, when they, when the concept of staring into the flame, that's what I've caught about myself with that, you know, otherwise it's a, uh, you know, sex rituals you know that's the best for me how about you sherry oh just from the moment i wake up till the moment i go to sleep i am doing magic i am i uh, do my return to cinders every day so um that helps keep away the negative energy or any negative energy that's being sent towards me. I make sure that, that there's a stop to that. <laughs> it's very personal. Um, Truth. My, yeah, it's very personal. So I don't like to share everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I would say I'm not, everybody, I would say I'm everybody not, has their own personal ways of how they practice magic. But Shane, yes, the cooking it is cooking and putting together ingredients that's that is magic that's one of the oldest forms of magic i mean look at the witches adding ingredients to like you know their the big cauldron. boiling cauldron <laughs> yeah, i would say the biggest place where i i guess where i met like th things that really freak me out is when i make artwork sometimes i'll be sculpting or making something and i i go into a subconscious state and sometimes I'll get sad or some, I'll have emotions. That I don't even know where the hell they're coming from. Or and then I'll wake up in the morning. I'm like, I don't even remember making that. Like, I don't remember sculpting it so much because it gets so, I get so deep in my mind. So that's a, that's a place for me to, yeah. you know, creation. Mm, I can relate. I can relate to that. I can relate yeah. to that. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Now I'd say I'm right there along with you, Sharon. Like I wake up and I do my cleansing rituals, like all that, my energy I can always tell, like, if I kind of, like, slack on those, like, I can always feel it. And I know, like, okay, I need to get those cleansing energies out because then that helps my creativity and my magic, too. Um, let me see what other questions I have here. What do you think are, like, some common, like, misconceptions or, like, stereotypes on witches? Well, I'll tell you when P I, I've had people visit, let's say, and they'll like, maybe they're, I have something like a Winnie the Pooh cookie jar and they find that's really, oh, look how cute. Oh, look, look at that. It's so weird that I have a Winnie the Pooh, that I'm normal, that I have normal taste. Mm -hmm. like it's not every, not everything's goth or whatever in my place. So it's like, uh, that's sort of irritating, you know, that I'm, all, you know, like a lot of times that when I don't like to dress in all black, I call it a satanic clown suit. You know, it's like, I want, I, I want to have style, you know, I want to have, you know, I want, I want different. I don't mind black sometimes, but, you know, this is cool. You trust me, it's cool. I can't show my shorts. <laughs> well, you can see my shorts. 
They're made too, I swear. But anyway, this is cool. Turn around again. Okay. Oh, it's the back. Can you see it? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It's got the pyramids on there. It had, what it has on there is this. That screen print. On oh, here. I like that. Yeah. It's pretty badass. Sharon, what about you? What do you think? What? Uh, as far as misconception? Like, so, yeah, or like stereotypes or any like negative stereotypes or anything like that you've come into? Well, um, I just, I don't know. I've, I've encountered people that just automatically think you're a bad person if you're a witch. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'm a bad person. I try to I try to be a good person. I don't, I, I go about my day and I do good things. I'm, I, I, I can be evil, but, um, I don't think every witch is evil. I like to think of it as like, we know how to handle situations. If people like go out of their way to mess with us. Yeah. Like what Shane says, <laughs> or else. Yeah, it's or, or else. And that's what I mm -hmm. say quite often with the LaVey family. It's like they're the coolest people. Hippies, really cool. Like, really cool people. Really open-minded. Really, like you think of a hippie. Like, really open-minded and stuff like that. But it's there's also that idea, like, or else. You know, I got a knife in my pocket. I'm ready to go fight. I'm, I'm ready to fight back. There's a pushback. If you're going to push, they're going to push, too. Yeah. And that's That's unusual, you know. Or that's what people would consider unusual for a, a Satanist or something like that. It's like uh, that you're always evil, angry, in a bad mood, stuff like that. I've, I've never seen mm -hmm. it with uh, the LeVay family, Anton, or any of, it, any of the old guard. Now, I don't know anything about, you know, the young people that are in the COS now. They seem like uh, jerks. Um, but, but I'm sure there's some cool people there. You yeah. Know, I'm not a fan of people. Whatever. We're not meant to be friends all, all, all over the place. So that's fine. You know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not even putting, I don't even have beef. It's just, I don't, I don't care for that, 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 that flavor. The LeVay, the, and it, you know, when I, I was in the company of Anton, so I was like, you're not going to top that. So everything's disappointing after that to me. Like anything, anything's disappointing. And it should, it, what, what can I say? I had, you know, it's like you have the original whatever, and then you have the duplicate. It's always going to be like, mm, this is not the best. It's like having a Louis Vuitton, and then somebody tries to sell you a knockoff. You're like, that's it's what not I'm insane. Saying. That's exactly what I'm <laughs> saying. Exactly that, that concept. So so I'm not even putting people down now. You had no choice. You didn't get the, you, you weren't part of that moment. I luckily was, and, and I didn't realize how lucky I was until you come into this new moment, and you're like, oh, I, I, I experienced the real deal. So. Yeah. Yeah. Here's some here's some um, com here's some comments. Uh, evils. Okay, I think they're talking about rituals. Maybe one person says, "Gotta change your charge your crystals." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 I always got I got my crystals right here. I have so many crystals, and like I feel like they make such a difference in my home. Right, Claudia says, "Writing by staring into the flame." Jason Miller says, "Going to the bookstore." and hunt for the strange and unusual uh, and a hunt for this. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, that's, I would say that, that I can uh, what, when a, a, a person's telling me they're a Satanist, I, I, I wonder when they start talking to me about going to the bookstores or what was the name of that book? I'm like, mm, I, you're probably really a Satanist. The Satanist. I think that. another like stereotype on witches is like that, it's stuff just in like what like just magically comes like there's a lot of like work that goes into magic you know oh, yeah yeah oh yeah yeah it, 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 well but the the we make it look easy when you're good you're good <laughs> not that i'm good what at about all. manifestation magic jason when you go to a bookstore do you have like a book in mind that you're looking for and then it, it appears that happens a lot to me I hope we're not too delayed. Witches live in coexistence with their surroundings in life, Claudia says. Like the Bruce Lee water concept. Yeah. You can I always just ask Lucifer. I'm like, Lucifer, help me out here. And like, boom, it's there. Okay, here, here's one. There's a cool, yeah, yeah, I'm not even mentioning that person. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't pretty, much, pretty much I beef with everyone, I guess. So it's just like, that's the way it goes. That's funny. 
Let me I'm see here. I'm good with it. I'm very selective. So I don't have a way to communicate to you guys. Like, I don't think we're going to do the unboxing tonight. And um, I don't know if no. I can stay on very much longer. Is there somebody, is there anyone else that's going to come on as a guest? Oh, tell us. Uh, I know I want you to tell us about your book, Sharon. Because I know that was what oh, we were yeah. going to do with the Anton LaVey, the, the whatever. I have two books coming out. Um, one is the Anton LaVey Illuminated book that um, has all the art that Diane collected. Diane, um, Anton's longtime partner, who was the co-founder of the Church of Satan and his longtime lover, um, longtime partner. She over the years collected drawings that Anton would do and he would throw them away. Um, he didn't think they were important. He would just doodle and stuff, but some of them are, some of them are um, more ones that weren't throwaway ones, but she collected all of them and she saved them and uh, they're now going to be published into a book. So that's one of the books. And the other one, of course, is Anton LaVey's Sex God, which is all of those nude witches photos and all of those adult um, and men's magazine spreads and stuff that we have collected over the years. So those two books will be coming out. One of uh, the pre sales for Sex God is up again, open again on bathmedx.com. And look out soon for the pre-sell of the Anton LaVey Illuminated sketchbook with all I'm of his drawings. Those are going to be good. Jason answered your question, Sharon. You asked about the book, and he says, I go with a list, but most of the time I just have a thing that pops out to me. Something pops out, so uh -huh. I think you got that right. <laughs> So Shane, do you want to go ahead and tell us where people can go to get more information on the Witches Sabbath and tickets? Yeah, uh, Witches, Witches Sabbath Gathering on Instagram, uh, Facebook. There's an event. Look up Witches Sabbath in Los Angeles. Witches Sabbath Wall Purchase Number Three. Um, Baphom AX. You know. It, the internet's pretty easy to find this stuff. You can, on any of our socials, I have a link on my Twitter. Um, all my stuff's going under Michael Hunt Publishing now because my personal name <laughs> is... It sets Cat's out of the bag. Well, it sets things on fire. <laughs> yeah. My personal name sets shit on fire, I guess. So it's like I go into Michael Hunt Publishing, my publishing company. But Sharon LeVay is available on Instagram. Lucy Vaughn. What do you go by, Lucy Vaughn? What's your Instagram? Lucy Lucy Vaughn. There you go. It's Lucy, Lucy Bond. There you go. Lucy. Kept it simple. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, that's it. And I, geez, want to, you know, I think we can end it, we can end it, you know, pretty quick. Off. Yeah. You know, here, here's my new book, by the way. Founding of the Satanic Temple. But it's got the, the uh, original, my, the last interview with Anton LaVey. It's got an interview with Carl LeVay and Stanton LeVay. So this is not really that much about the, it's about the Satanic Temple, but it all goes back to the LeVays. It's very good. I'm very proud of this book. Oh, yeah. If anyone, if anyone does anything, I give them one of these drawings. They're cool. I think they're cool. So we have the tickets on Eventbrite, uh, and there's an option for add-on that you can, um, when you get your ticket, you can add on a book. If you want Shane's book, you can add that onto your ticket price and they're at discounted prices. So if you get your ticket and your books together, you get your books for a discount. Yeah. And then bring them to the event and you get them signed. Yeah, exactly. I, I believe they pick them up at the event. Oh, okay. Or the next, or the next day, May 1st, we'll do that. We're doing a book signing in like a, a question and answer type of situation. So, you know, that I think that'll be really cool. I know it'll be a real cool event. I don't even have to think about it. And of yeah. course, the one thing that Lucy Vaughn is not mentioning is how historic this event is. <laughs> That's your part, Shane. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have to say it. I mean, it's historic. It, 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 when I show up at the party, but, it's historic. I, I, I made history more than once. Sharon shows up. She's part of the LeVay family. It's automatically historic. So it's like, 
you know, if we take an invite to your barbecue, your barbecue automatically becomes historic. See how that goes? It's cool but, when you say it. Historical yeah, then, well, well, th this event we're we're doing rituals that never been done before, stuff like that. So it's like uh, it, it's, it's historic. But there's nothing. We have a yeah. There's a lot of rituals going on that night. It's gonna be awesome. Let's not lessen. As Sharon was saying, the whole thing is a ritual. The whole thing, the absolute whole thing, and everyone's involved, whether you like it or not. I guess. Ritual in yeah. rituals inside of rituals inside of rituals. That's right. It's a whole. It's a whole unfolding. Let's see how many. People well, then I guess with that we'll go ahead and close it out tonight. Have we done one hour? Yeah. Wow, we did one hour. That's very nice. Yeah. It's I been really an hour. appreciate this. It turned out nice. And uh, everyone, go get your tickets. <laughs> tickets, and we'll close out. Hail Satan! Yeah. Hail so. Satan! Hail me! Say it, shame. Peace. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Okay, they make me do this stuff.